Here's the deal. I'm afraid of Nehemiah. That's the deal. I got you're what? what? I'm afraid of Nehemiah. I'm afraid. Like he's in the guy or the book? No, well, I'm afraid of the guy because of the book. Here's the deal. So I'm reading Nehemiah. This I was on an airplane and I'm reading Nehemiah. Okay, uh, the Ezra Nehemiah combo, and I'm reading through it, and, and you know, it's kind of par for the course. You generally get the the gist of Nehemiah, the rebuilding. Uh, and uh, towards the end, chapter 13, the last chapter in Nehemiah, like takes a serious turn for the worse in like the last half of chapter 13. All right. So so he's he's describing uh, that there's some problems here. People have been intermarrying uh, and it's causing a, a rift. There's a mass divorce in Ezra um, trying to separate from these foreign wives that people have kind of got, gotten themselves involved with. But like as you read through the end of Nehemiah, there's a. There's a part, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think if I can if I can pick you up where it's at here. All right, so this is uh, 1319, Nehemiah 1319. As soon as it began to grow dark at the gates of Jerusalem before the Sabbath, I commanded that the doors be shut and gave orders that they should not be opened until after the Sabbath. And I stationed some of my servants at the gates that no load might be brought in on the Sabbath day. Then the merchants and sellers of all kinds of wares lodged outside Jerusalem once or twice. But I warned them and said to them, why do you lodge outside the wall? If you do so again, I will lay hands on you. That's an old school Hebrew threat. That's what I'm saying. There's going to be trouble. I'm going to take note of that one. All right. So, so from that time on, they did not come on the Sabbath. <laughs> it was obviously enough to keep them away. Uh, then I commanded the Levites that they should purify themselves and come and guard the gates to keep the Sabbath day holy. Remember this also in my favor, O oh my God, and spare me according to the greatness of your steadfast love. All right. Here's the, here's the deal. In those days, also, I saw the Jews who had married women of Ashdod, Ammon, and Moab. And half of their children spoke the language of Ashdod, and they could not speak the language of Judah, but only the language of each people. And I confronted them, and cursed them, and beat some of them, and pulled out their hair. <laughs> this guy's a Southern Baptist, he right? Does, he, does, he does not take into grief. <laughs> uh, continuing. <laughs> and I made them take an oath in the name of God, saying, You shall not give your daughters to their sons, or take their daughters for your sons or for yourselves. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin on account of such women? Among the many nations there was no king like him, and he was beloved by his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, foreign women made even him to sin. Shall we then listen to you and do all this great evil and act treacherously against our God by marrying foreign women? And one of the sons of Jehoiada, the son of Elishab, the high priest, was the son-in-law of Sanballat the Horonite. Therefore I chased him from me. <laughs> Remember them, O oh my God, because they have desecrated the priesthood and the covenant of the priesthood and the Levites. Thus I cleansed them from everything foreign, and I established the duties of the priests and Levites, each in his work, and I provided for the wood offering at appointed times and for the first fruits. And Nehemiah ends it. He ends his, his book with this. Remember me, oh my God, for good. <laughs> Heart, Nehemiah. And here's the deal. is I didn't give you much of context. I didn't give you a lot of context because the first 12 chapters of Nehemiah contain none of that. No rousting, no like hair pulling, no beating of other people. <laughs> yeah, actually, with that snippet that you read, it seems like Nehemiah, Nehemiah is a man of action, and uh, you know, and he, passion. He's a guy that gets things done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, if hair pulling is necessary, it's not beyond him. It's now, now the thing is, is that a lot of times when churches bust out Nehemiah, they're trying to build something. Okay, we're gonna build something. Do the Nehemiah campaign. You yeah, know, yeah. he was sent back to build the thing, and so like. We always focus on the first, you know, few chapters where he's building stuff up. Nobody and does the ark because I feel like the ark was pretty impressive. Oh, you mean for a building campaign? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they it, fill up like a boat with a marker and stuff. Like we're almost there. Hey. It's got a downer into it because it's a, you'd anticipate a flood and God's judgment, which actually is probably the more appropriate picture. Yeah, yeah. we're building. I something. feel like Israel didn't really come out on top after the you know, four hundred <laughs> years from there either. Way, you know what I mean? It's kind of hard to pass that through city council too. Oh no, God gave us plans. Yeah, yeah. don't one you guy. worry, Just we'll be all good. Guy. And rock creatures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I'm just saying, like, uh, when you're reading the Old Testament, uh, pay attention. <laughs> Because here's the deal. Is I've read Nehemiah twice at least before this, have gone through that, and never do I recall him with such fierce beatings of folks at the end of it. And my guess is I walked to in it, into it the same way every other sermon series is presented. It's like, oh, yeah, build the temple. Yeah. <laughs> Reset it up. And then you're like, oh, man, pulling the hair and beating the face. I think a lot of how you take that in depends on where you're at in life. You know what I'm saying? Like if you read that very stoically, you're like, and I pulled his hair and I beat him. You know, like, and, and, and if you do it in a, in a very calm way, he seems more scary, you know? But if you think about it, there was a guy in the news recently that had his uh, his picture in the paper for, he was, had a knife in between his teeth, and then he went rampaging through a I parking lot. I saw that lot. guy. <laughs> and so, like, his mugshot is literally him grinning ear to ear. <laughs> and you could, and, and like, so if you're saying it like that guy, 
Now you're just in the crazy bucket. No one's really afraid of you. But if you say it in a very calm manner, like, listen, uh, you're not going to do business here. Uh, if you come back, I will beat you and pull your hair out. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's that's a man to be dealt with. You know that's what a man threat. He's calculated it. He said, look, I, I know what I'm capable of, and this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> well, and he, he must be physically impressive because he was able to chase people away. Like, if I initiated a chase at a group of dudes, I feel like they're just going to stand there. Yeah. I would just be doing an do, unnecessary sprint. <laughs> yeah. You know, but like he gave chase and they kept running. So he must have. Uh, so he, not only did he say, shoo, go away, he physically ran them down and put the. I chased them, it said. put the beats on them. <laughs> I chased them away. I don't know. Nehemiah, I'm just getting a different picture of, of uh, Nehemiah than I thought. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That makes me feel pretty wimpy when I say, like, I really want to encourage you guys to really follow God. Yeah. That, yeah. That's kind of like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Or, You're not chasing people away from the gates on the Sabbath, man. <laughs> or I'll, I'll hit you with my boot. Like, I'm going to take it off my, my, my foot. And just hit you with it. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta change my ways. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I call what's, this boot the gospel. <laughs> what's this? Uh, what's this fiance's name? Ash Dodd. Well then, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to do some counseling Ash with y'all. Yeah. <laughs> what language does she speak? I'm about to lay my hands on you. 